Right guys, welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to find the vampire down in Saint Denis and obtain the unique ornate dagger that he's carrying. Altogether, there is five clues that will lead to his location. And the very first one I've waypointed on the map, which is here. So we're going to turn our horse around, head to there, and I'll show you exactly what we need to do. When you get to this location, which is the bottom of the road that leads down from the eye in Saint Denis, what you need to do is come down this little alleyway here and then you're going to want to head left under these stairs and on the right hand side on the wall there is going to be some writing that you need to inspect after you've inspected it you're going to write it in your journal and then we can move on to the second lot of the mysterious writing and that writing is going to be on the exact same road, but a little bit further up. So what we need to do is, here you'll see an alleyway that leads down to behind all the shops, like the gunsmith. And when you get down here, on the wall inside this little archway is going to be the second clue, the second lot of mysterious writing. So we're going to inspect that, write it down in the journal, and then move on to number three. Number three, you will find at the general store, which is south of the S in Saint Denis. And what we need to do is, you'll see the double doors and there's some white writing on the wall. That is the third clue that you need to inspect and write down in the journal. For number four, you're going to want to head to where the trapper is. And when we are there, instead of going into the marketplace where the trapper has his stall, we're going to open the gate that is on the right hand side and on the left side of the wall you are going to see the fourth lot of mysterious writing so we're going to inspect that and then move on to the final clue and the fifth and final piece of mysterious writing is just above the n in saint denis and it's across the road from where we are now so if we unpause over here on the corner you are going to see the writing in white on the wall and we're going to inspect it, and it puts together like a star. Once the timing game reaches midnight, you are going to see here, down to the south of the N in Saint Denis, that there is a corpse. It's like X marks the spot. And what we're going to do is run down here, and it's going to trigger a cutscene. And after speaking to him, you want to antagonize him so that he comes to attack you. And then you're going to see on the floor that you can press your left bumper to pick up the ornate dagger. So that's the vampire dead. And I've seen a couple of videos, people expose him to the sunlight and stuff like that. But we just killed him because the purpose of this video is to get the ornate dagger and find where the vampire is. Going into first person, you can see that the dagger does look pretty cool. And in the compendium, you can see that the damage is two bars. The range is it's a melee weapon, so the range is about half a bar. A rare decorative dagger featuring a silver blade embossed with ornate designs and a gold statuette handle. This weapon previously belonged to a strange pale man dressed in black, discovered lurking amongst the back alleyways of Saint Denis. So that was just a quick video to show you guys how to find the vampire and obtain the ornate dagger. Because it's a unique weapon, it's a part of the 100% completion on this game. If there's anything else you'd like to know about the game, let me know in the comments. That is going to be the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching.